Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly Hank it with the action With the vital speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof Came back like I'm King Tut Gold BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the prop and not the re -up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Main Just caught a touchdown From the base He just called. It's his second time calling. He said he's going to be here in 10 minutes. And so he say be ready. He's going to be out there in 10 minutes. So hurry up. Oh, oh. 
Yo, yo, we back. It shades pop a lot. So a whole lot of mob shit going on. We on our way to Texas with it. Me, that's in Space City. H-Town. All my guys from Houston, y'all get in the comment box. Y'all know we talking about one of y'all on. Now, today, I'm going to do my best to tell you the story about a legendary artist that was a member of a legendary group. And when I say legendary, in the state of Texas... Though they wouldn't reach the heights in the fame of groups like the Ghetto Boys or UGK, I'm going to have to mention their names right up there in Texas lore. And the group that I'm talking about is going to be the legendary SUC or the Screwed Up Click that would be headed by the legendary DJ Screw. And the person that I'm talking about is going to be a guy by the name of Patrick Lamarck Hawkins or Fat Pat. Now, the Screwed Up Click would be a super group of rappers that included guys like DJ Screw, Zero, Little Flip, Little Kiki, Big Pokey, C Note, and guys like Big Hawk that was also Fat Pat's older brother. And depending on who you ask, they would also say guys like Little Troy, Devin the Dude, and even mention UGK as almost honorary members. So if you're talking about anything about the screwed up click in the city of Houston, you're literally talking about royalty. And with it being decades since the death of Fat Pat on South Drive in Houston, his name and his music has been forever immortalized in the city. With Fat Pat being only 27 at the time of his death, he was born in the early 1970s. At an early age, he would find himself in a music group named DEA or Dead in Alliance, along with his older brother Hawk, DJ Screw, and another guy by the name of KK. And looking at it all these years later, it looks to me as the beginning stages or the formation of what will become the legendary Screwed Up clip. Now, I'm sure somebody is going to describe it in the comment box way better than I can. But in my estimation, the screwed up click was just a bunch of talented guys that would get together and they would literally freestyle. These freestyles would then be put onto cassette tape and legitly became the soundtrack of the city as people, I'm sure to this day, 
are still riding around bumping those screw tapes. But at that time, shit, the city of Houston long ago had its own music scene way before they got any national attention. Depending on your sources, they're going to say that the screwed up click started right around 1990. And though the tapes were filled with a lot of memorable and talented artists, if you bring up the screwed up click in the city of Houston, I'm sure Fat Pat is going to be one of the first names that come up. And me literally being the outsider, I first heard about Fat Pat and DJ Screw or the screwed up click after both of their deaths. But the main thing that I could take away, especially after doing all my research about Fat Pat, was his ability to freestyle and the talent that he had, but also his love for the Houston car scene. And I'm not sure if it was that love for the cars, his relationship with the screwed up click, but he would also have a strong relationship with another Houston legend, especially if we're talking about the car game. And I'm talking about the legendary Corey C.B. Blunt, the Slab King. And if y'all don't know about Corey Blunt or y'all ain't happen to see the Monetize episode we did on him, y'all check that out. And it's going to let you know everything you need to know as far as about who was running the car game back in them days. So with Fat Pat being who he was, the whole city would be shocked. On February 3rd, 1998, a date that will live in infamy in the city of Houston after Fat Pat will be fatally shot and killed at the Meadows Southwest apartment complex in Houston. Conflicting stories would eventually come out after his death, with one story saying that he had gone to a promoter's apartment to collect money that he had been owed for a show while he had friends waiting in the car for him. One theory alleges once he was inside of the apartment, he was shot in the head and killed. Another theory had him being killed in the hallway before he even made it to the apartment. But in an article remembering him, the Double XL would put out a theory that he was in fact going to see a music promoter that, according to KDH News, was also a drug kingpin that at one time had apparently been on the run after a Central Texas Narcotics Task Force would recover approximately 2.2 kilograms of cocaine, a pound of marijuana, and two firearms from a location he had been linked to in Nolanville. But despite that and the rumors, I could not see where anybody had been tried or convicted for the murder of Patrick Fat Pat Hawkins. And depending on who you ask, and even looking back at the relationship now, a lot of people would say that the death of Fat Pat took a big toll on DJ Screw, who I'm sure was pouring up at the time because shit, getting screwed, pouring. He almost like the forefather of just drinking syrup. But just going through the death of your friend would have to take a toll on you as DJ Screw would die only two years after the murder of Fat Pat. Now, Fat Pat is going to be like many of those that we covered, a legend in their city that was gone too soon. Now, if you're from the city of Houston, please get in the comment box because these people don't understand when I'm covering guys like Fat Pat. Definitely let them know how legendary the screwed up click was. Now, y'all make sure y'all hit the red subscribe right under this video so y'all know when this real trill spill shit is dropping. Y'all get in the comment box flooded. Let me know where we need to go. What stories we missed, what we got wrong, what gangsters we need to cover, who we missed. Y'all know y'all can get at me on Instagram, on Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. And I'm going to be back ASAP, man. Shout out to Houston, man. We appreciate the red carpet. Shit got pop a lot. Mob.